Cause you don't know this Cause you don't know this Welcome back to the Dungeons of Evil thingy And today we wander blindly into darkness while I try to remember where everything good about this place was. I know there's quite a few nifty goods to be found. And this must be the room I went to. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. We're already repeating things we've done. Let's not do that. Okay. Ah! We need a key from something. I don't remember where we get it. Though. We get it from fighting the Dark Magician. With lag. Fight the Dark Magician with lag. Better take my potion of bully in case I need any more. Let's go down this spooky passageway. I think this is gonna go to the end. I don't want to go to the end though. I need to find a key. Don't I? Is this where I swim? Spoilers, there's a place where you swim and it is here. So I think we need a key first. But first I'm just gonna confirm that. Pretty sure we need one. We need, we need to find like 14 more coins too. So that we can do stuff with them. I'm just gonna go up here really quick, see if I can... Okay, I have to put my torch back on. Yeah, we need a key. Okay, good. Don't care, I'm gonna put the torch out. Let's see if it... Yeah. I never actually knew of torch... Now they just... Okay, they just go back in your inventory. I never knew if torches actually, like, went out if you swam with them, or if they just went back in your inventory. I never checked... Okay, we probably should just go down that other path from the very beginning. Eh, move! Move, Reaper McGee! Oh. Stupid guard break. You're dead! Ha! Ha! Move! What spell do I have active? Oh, okay. Something that didn't even bother hitting. Gosh, wonderful. Boo, okay. Huh. which path it's down. Might be down this one. Where we light things on fire. I seem to remember alluding to that a while ago. Yeah, it's probably in here. Yay! We got the key! And for the sake of it, I will show you guys everything else. I think there's like one thing left to show. Eh. Zombles! It's time to show off the zombles. This is kind of a long staircase though. But it does lead to another slightly watery area with creepy zombies. However, as far as I know, there's nothing in here at all besides the zombies. I could be wrong. But I'll come back and check another time. For now, let's move on. I fought the zombies in my last take. Like, the, the take where I decided to just blow everything off and, uh... Get rid of the videos because of all the, uh, skipping around and stuff. But now that I'm not breaking the game... You know, it kind of loses its creepy factor after a while, but there's still a lot of neat places where you could be surprised. to the water just in time for a reset. Oh. 
came across an undead magician who wears a magnificent crown. It must be the, the crown of catharsis. I must defeat the magician and take the crown and invent my own dialogue for these prompts. Vroom, punk! Who wants this cat? We cannot get inside. So yeah, start fighting the guy and you're gonna suddenly vanish from the planes of existence. No, not really. But you are going to go someplace else. Some place where we don't need a torch. Ah! Oh! Aha! Well, it's not really going through the floor, it's going through the wall. Whatever. I know a lot of uh, terrain objects are kind of like that. Not really all that stable. When I first did this, uh, you behold the staff high atop the ruin. Maybe there is a chance to reach it. The first time I did this, I thought that I had uh, sequence broken a third time, but no, it turns out not. The only issue is that this guy does not attack us um, naturally. It's like a lone plant there, I don't know. So of course, that would make getting the staff ridiculously easy. So for the purpose of challenge, eh, we will have the mad magician attack us. And I'm assuming this is where you're meant to use that potion of the, the toad or what, what was it called? Potion of uh, jump toad. So that you can fortify your acrobatics enough in order to be able to get up these things. This, I'm guessing that's what you're meant to do, but... My stats are kind of high enough for it to work anyway. Is he... Is he not... not attacking still? He's not. The heck? There we go. That's why I mainly hate it. <laughs> also, I'd be under the impression that this stuff down here is instant death, so we don't want to go anywhere near that. The problem is, I don't know if killing him boots us out of the realm, so we have to somehow get a chance to take the, the staff with us. Yeah, there he is. Wait, he's not attacking us again. That would be a good time to use some lightning resistance stuff, though, which I think I got rid of a while ago for some reason or another. Oh, uh, but let's see. Yeah, we could use light spell for shield, I guess. Oh. Kind of hard to... Yeah, when he does that. <laughs> and I think at this point, yeah, it's broken. So we have to cheat to get out. So I don't, I don't really like the design of this area. I think it was poorly constructed for the most part. The heck, I can't even go back into first person view. Come on, there we go. So yeah. I don't really like it. <laughs> I like the idea, but... kind of annoying when you're given one potion of jump toad or whatever the crap it is to be able to get up here. <sighs> can't even see. Darn it. Ah! Are we inside the wall again? No, we managed to land outside the ah! I really want to try and get the staff first because, like I said, I don't know if getting the staff will make us leave. I could check really quick if this starts to take too long. Uh, 
I hate this design. I don't know why people think this is a this is a clever idea. It doesn't make it challenging, it makes it annoying, you know? People don't seem to understand there's a difference between difficulty and annoying. This has not much to do with difficulty, and I'm gonna get hit here probably. Nope. Actually get it. Ah, what did I even get? Ah, well, screw it. Let's see what we got. Oh, better reset first though. Okay. I don't know. Scepter of the Ancestors, we had that already. I'm not sure what we got, if anything. Maybe it's just some script event. So let's go ahead and kill him now. Alright. Uh, lightning probably won't affect him. Yo, see, oh! How do you like it? You can't move for a whole eight seconds or something. I don't know. Just like, why? Where'd he go? There he is. What if he's resistant to all lightning? No, it doesn't seem to be. That's something I'll be able to understand. But, eh. If the gimmicky knock you down, so you can't do anything. It's kind of. Ooh, almost went through the floor there. Oh, it's a slant. It's a slanted hill, though, so it's regular. Never mind. Been anything new. Someone said these sounds are from uh, Diablo, I think it was, or Arr! World of Warcraft, Ooh. one of those games, I don't know. Ow. I haven't played Diablo, my friend loves that series though. He's gonna die when he's in. Okay, and it doesn't look like we were able to pick up his stuff anyway. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's that thing, okay. Sunfire Staff, Sunfire Sword, and Sunfire Shield. And he himself- oh. Uh, we've got time. As soon as you reach for the body on the floor, a cold shiver runs down your back. In your head, you see memories that are not yours. Images too horrible and disgusting to ever, uh, to be ever forgotten. That's kind of weird grammar. Engraved in your memory forever. Your days have passed since the earthquake caused the dungeon entries to- Four days have passed since the earthquake caused the dungeon entries to collapse and the way out was blocked. You see how the young soldier slowly but surely lapses into madness by starvation and pain, a cruel fate he shares with many of his comrades. Driven by fear, he is drawn down into the darkest, darkest vaults and chambers in search of another way out to the safe valley. Uh, screaming for fear and desperation, he runs deeper and deeper into vaults and catacombs until he collapses due to sheer exhaustion. Exhaustion. As soon as he awakens, as he awakens, I guess, that looks like a D, but it, it, as soon as he awakened, he beholds the greenish glow that seems to come from a stony ornate chest only a few yards ahead of him, suspicious but curious, and with the rest of his strength, he drags himself into er, to the ancient moss-covered chest and opens it. Could he believe his eyes? The last bit of his withered mind refused to believe what he sees. In the chest, he finds a staff, a shield, and a sword, richly... Oh, ornamented magical artifacts worthy of a powerful hero or king. However, he is not interested in them. The reason for that is the fourth item in the chest that outshines the brilliance of the other magnificent artifacts. It even downright seems to absorb it. It looks like a crown, but in some way it is different from all those royal crowns the soldier has heard or read in the fables and tales so far. Mesmerized by the crown, he holds it up by the hand and cannot refrain from putting it on. Just in the very moment, all life escapes from the body of the soldier. All of his life? No. Weeks later, he rises once again. Long gone mad by hunger, fear, and desperation, the crown has taken the very last bit of his humanity and pushed him even deeper into the abyss of insanity. Yeah, I know how that feels. He is aware that he is not even himself anymore, that he that his life as a human being is long gone, now that his disfigured body is half rotten and gnawed off by the worms already. Calm and quiet, he is strolling through the halls that once have accommodated the proudest soldiers and paladins of the Empire, but now just the eternal home of their dead, decaying reavers. Probably. I don't care anymore. One single rotten tear slowly is running down his decaying cheek. 
no timer. No, we're going to continue reading. He does not take notice of his new powers. It was only when he uh, was only when the partially skeletonized body of the former good friend stands up after his touch. He realizes which power, which damnation has been granted to him. With every rotting body that he wakes to an, unlight, an undead life, his ease of mind wanes and changes to a wild insanity until he loses even the last bit of his, uh, last bit of his human mind. After he has accomplished his own holy work, he goes back into the deep of the catacombs where he came from and begins to wait. For what? For the next episode of Dungeons of Imelon. Thanks for watching. We have the crown.